everybody. We have two clutches of snake eggs to show you today. One from one of our rat snakes and the other from our eastern hognose snake. Unfortunately, I don't have the best news with either clutch. We're going to start with the rat snake clutch and then you'll see what I mean regarding the eastern hog. But let's start with those rat snake eggs. They're right down here. Here's her lay box. She's actually in this lay box and as soon as you see her clutch you'll know why this isn't terribly good news. But look. Ah, uh, we have one, two, oh, not two, one, one, two, three eggs. Three good eggs. Hmm, I'd say this one's all right, too. You think? One, two, three, oh, yeah, that's calcified. Four. All right, good point. Possibly five there. Oh, that's right. And she also laid one slug underneath her water dish and covered it in poop. So that's what she thought of that egg. We paired this female, which is het scaleless, to our male here, Buck, who is actually a, uh, a scaleless rat snake. He's a scaleless Texas rat snake, which means he carries both copies of the scaleless gene, and being a recessive trait, he's scaleless then too. He is a wonderful snake, and he has fathered many clutches for us in the past, so I'm not sure why this clutch of eggs is not very good, why there's only a few good eggs in there. It could just be a fluke. Maybe we just had bad luck with this clutch, but we're still gonna incubate the good ones. All right, girl, I'm gonna take you out. You look good. She got them all out, so that's the important thing. Let me just feel her quick. Yeah, yeah, she got all the eggs out. All right, when I checked on her earlier, she still had a couple left, so I wanted to leave her alone for about, uh, I think it's been about 10, 12 hours. So we put mom away back into her bin, and we're going to check out these eggs and get them set up for incubation, the, the few that are good, anyway. I've got one that's like super sluggy, but it's really stuck to a good egg. There, this will be perfect for these four good eggs. This is the egg that I had to separate from another one that is good. I'm not convinced that this is a good egg. It's calcified right here. In this part, this half feels like a good, healthy, fertile egg. But then over on this side, it's squishy and just sluggy looking overall. So what do you think we should do with it? Incubate till there's no debate. All right, we'll incubate. At least it's separated so that we can take it out if it starts to go yeah. bad. Well, how many do we have first? We had four, maybe five good eggs. I'm going to say four good eggs. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60. So she had 17 eggs, only four of which are good. Unfortunately, I don't know why that is. Just bad luck, I think. The important thing is she got them all out and she looks healthy and we still have some babies that we'll get from her. So that's pretty cool. What should we mark them with? What should be our theme? We'll do the different types of reptiles. That's gonna be my tuatara right. head. That works. Just the head. <laughs> the reptile themed the eggs. The reptile themed eggs. That'll work, making the best of a, an unfortunate situation yep. with all of these slugs. Well, I'm gonna date them quick. Well, that's that. There's that clutch. Yep. That's all we can salvage from that clutch. Yeah, that's everything. So those slugs, they're a little too small to feed to Rex. Oh, we could give them to Chloe. Yeah, Chloe, other turtles might eat them. I don't think this is gonna work, but Taco, do you want one? It's not for you, shell it, really? Oh, now it's a toy. Get it, get it, get it. Who's gonna, Oh, Taco got it. Good job, buddy. Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Here, do you want the slug? Oh, she ate it. How is it? You gonna actually eat it or just hang on to it? What do you think? Oh, there it goes. Did you like that? Do you want another? Do you want another egg? Oh, oh wow, okay. She has discovered she likes eggs. I'm not gonna give her all of these. You want another? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that one's gone too. Oh, you're getting more gentle. You know, this is good. I had to feed her today anyway, so this, this works. Free meal for the snapping turtle. Rex is looking particularly cute. Do you want the last one? 
Oh, it's a girl. Oh, did you drop it? No, you got it. It's just a little piece of food. I'm, I'm, you ate it. Do you not realize you ate it? Yeah, it's in your belly. Well, now that we've fed all of the slugs from this pair of rat snakes, we were planning on moving on to our eastern hognose, but she is currently laying as we film. So we're going to give her a little bit of time and come back tomorrow and show you what she laid. Well, it's the next day and the eastern has finished laying her eggs, but take a look here. Well, hello. Are you hungry? Oh my goodness, she's actually, like, coming after me. Girl, girl, no, no, no. No, no, it's okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. I guess I'll feed her first, jeez. Well, since she's, like, super ravenous right now and, like, chasing after me, you can have your mouse now, and then I'll look at your eggs. How about that? Here you go. That white stuff is just calcium powder. Help replenish her calcium levels. I know you want it. There you go, that's a good girl. It looks and feels like she has one egg left in her right here. And knowing this girl, I had her last breeding season, so I'm not worried about that. This meal should help push that last egg out. And she historically has taken like three or four days to lay all of her eggs. So I'm not too worried about that, but I will definitely be keeping an eye on it. I'm just gonna move her aside so that she can eat her mouse while we look at the eggs. All right, let's see what we've got. The first two I see right here our slugs. I don't know why she laid them outside of her box here. Are there more over here? She also likes to scatter her eggs and she's always done this. I don't really know why. I guess she just likes us to go on an Eastern egg hunt every year. Oh yeah, there's another one. Down here, another slug. Oh, there's four. These are some of the earlier ones that she laid. And all this brown stuff is just the sphagnum moss that she pulled out of her lay box. Okay, now let's check your lay box. We have... One slug in there, and that's it. I have all sluggy eggs. No! Bummer! Man, these two look white on camera, but they are, they are yellow. They just look white in compared to these super yellow slugs over here. But if you look close, they've got those pointed ends, and they are still yellow. Again, it's hard to tell, but they're really squishy too. They are totally slugs. I'm going to leave the lay box in here with her so she can get that last egg out, but I'm going to change this bedding while she's over there eating. Here we go, clean bedding. I'm gonna leave that in there so she can still lay that last egg, but I'm gonna leave out the other enrichment to encourage her to move around a little bit more, and then that should help that egg come out too. All right, girl, here you go. I have found that with snakes that have like one slug still, or any egg is still in them, a meal, if they're willing to take it, will often help push that out. So that's why I gave her that meal right now and I'm just gonna put her back, let her relax, and check her in a couple days and see if she pushed that out. I was going to hold the female for the end of this video, but since she has that egg in her still, I don't wanna stress her out too much. So we're holding the male here instead. This is Sparkles. Dude, you didn't do your job this year. No, you didn't. I think what I'm going to do though is since she usually lays like three clutches in a row, or at least she has the last two years, I'm assuming she's probably going to do the same this year too. And so if she's going to lay eggs anyway, we may as well try to get them fertilized. So I might try to put sparkles here in with her again after she's done laying. And maybe when she lays her second clutch this year, maybe that'll be fertile. But I don't have high hopes. So I'm sorry guys, but I don't think we're gonna have Eastern hog noses this year. I think that first clutch was our best shot and since those were all slugs, I'm assuming Sparkles here just didn't know what to do. He is old enough, definitely old enough, he's about five years old now, and he's big enough technically to get the job done, but he just didn't show any interest in her at all. Is she just not your type? I'm sorry, I tried to ship you two. Didn't work out though. But this just shows that not everything is going to go well when you're breeding snakes. You can do everything perfectly and still end up with a clutch full of slugs. So you have to stay positive and just keep moving forward and maybe next year we'll work out better for the Eastern hogs. I don't know, maybe we won't ever be able to breed them, but you know what? I like keeping them anyway, so we're gonna keep on trying. Thank you everybody for watching today's video and thank you to our Patreon supporters for backing our channel. You guys are so tremendously generous. The good news is we do still have a few more clutches on the way, primarily uh, rat snakes and maybe a couple hog nose clutches, although a lot of our females didn't breed this year for whatever reason, so we're trying to repair them again just to see if timing was off. And then maybe another bull snake clutch as well. So we still 
still have some things that are possibilities and we have lots of eggs incubating right now. So in July-ish, expect those babies to start hatching. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time. Let's check on the Eastern. I gave her that meal two days ago now. Oh, there's the egg. Nice. Good job, girl. You pushed it out. It looks like a slug, unfortunately, but she got it out. I knew you could do it, girl.